welcome back to my channel my name is Aaliyah Nicole if you didn't already know and if you haven't already be sure to like comment and subscribe so that we can be friends okay okay today I'll be transforming myself into Chloe and Holly more so Chloe because I think I think we kind of look like not a whole lot not twins or nothing but just like just like a little bit and I figured in the spirit of Halloween why not right y'all can be the judges at the end though tell me how i did edit in the pictures not if i look like her or not just i want to know y'all opinions on how i did recreating these pictures because that's what this video is about so, over the course of i'd say like a week i've been taking pictures that look similar to their instagram pictures and like editing it and whatnot to make it look like the picture and you know this stuff is way harder than it seems i know one person be like yo you just taking a picture how hard is that but when you actually do it and you realize it's more to just taking a picture you gotta get the angle right you gotta get the lighting right you gotta get the pose don't even get me started on the pose my arms was burning my soul was burning and then imagine on top of all of that doing it by yourself because you don't have any help at the moment it ain't easy, but I did it because I wanted to, and I think stuff like this is fun. So, you guys get to see, you guys get to judge, and tell me how I did in the comments. So, alright, I'm gonna stop talking, you know, I don't want to keep this too long or nothing. Let's get straight into it. So, for the first picture, it's this picture of Chloe. I really like this picture. When I seen this picture, it like, struck me. I don't know, I just thought it was really pretty. I like how the browns are going on, and... I don't know, I don't know, this was not major. This was the first picture that made me wanna even think about recreating a bunch of their other pictures. She was hitting one of, um, you know, the modely things. This was the picture that started it all. She's wearing this black, um, what the fuck, bralette. <laughs> and then she's also wearing like some leather track looking pants type things, the bralette's leather too. And I don't own anything leather at all. <laughs> So I had to work with what I had and make it happen. With this picture, I actually did have some help. I had my cousin, TT, helping me. I was at her house and she was like, I was pumped. I had it on front camera so I could see what I looked like. And she was snapping them for me, helping me, like, tell me where to put my arms and stuff like that. I wanted to do all of this while I still had my braids in because, honestly, I'm about to take them out. And I wanted to get this done because these are the closest to locks that I've had in a long time. Um, never had a lot. I thought these were pretty similar to lots, so I was like, if I'm gonna do these pictures, I should do them now. So, to recreate her outfit, I wore a tank top that I folded up. You know how you be tucking a tank top up under your bra to make it look like a crop top? <laughs> That's exactly what I did. Hold on, my nose is I wore some um, track pants. These track pants were not leather, nothing I was wearing was leather. Matter of fact, the track pants didn't even match the color of the tank top. I had to edit it to make it look darker. <laughs> but I did it. I also edited the background to make it look kind of browny and like some light shining on me because we was in an apartment filming this at nighttime. There was no light, no brown walls, nowhere to go to find that. You guys tell me how I did. Um, you can honestly, you can say whatever you like. I think I did an amazing job. Okay. this picture because I have some LED lights right it's a blue light right no when I tried to do this I guess I don't have enough LED light for it to look good <laughs> and it looked a mess I'm not gonna lie it looked like it was barely brushed with blue I mean like when I got real close up under the light it looked a little decent but even then like I was so uncomfortable I couldn't even get the pose right so I edited it blue <laughs> In the picture, she's doing like this, and I tried to like recreate it, but I realized my nails wasn't done. And if I'm gonna do the picture, I gotta do the picture. <laughs> These are what my real nails look like. I think they're nice, but they don't look like the picture. <laughs> my allergies really messing with me. Goodness. What I did was <laughs> I used some gel nail polish and some nail tips. 
I put some gel on my fingernails, put the nail tip on, held it up under the UV light, and it kept it on, but it was very loose. It was not sturdy. I think if I do that again, I think that's a real nice hack for nails. I just gotta figure out how to make it last. But they was very flimsy, very fragile, and literally as soon as I was done with the picture, they popped it right off. So I mean it was good for the picture. <laughs> what I did was I painted like a diagonal slant lime green so that under the UV light it will glow that was when I was still thinking the light will work <laughs> I lined my lips with some brown eyeshadow because I do not own a lip liner I know mm -hmm. I put some carmine on to help it like glide on when I lined it and then I put lip gloss on top of all of it and I think this picture turned out really good it looks really close to the original I don't know how but I had my sister tell me it didn't even look like me. But that, that you tell me my lips don't look like me. But yeah, this picture was fun to do. Once I realized the light was a fail and I'm gonna edit it, I just got in front of a regular light and took some, you know, mm, took some pictures like this. <laughs> tell me what y'all think. <laughs> genuinely like I don't know it was something about it I've never taken a headshot like that so I was like I'm gonna do this one too <laughs> it was more of a struggle for me because I don't like the way my face looks like this and I know that sounds very silly but I don't I don't like I like the angle you know I like some angles I don't like this <laughs> I don't know um, I don't know why I just don't maybe because I got a little bit of a nipple over here <laughs> That's what made this picture more difficult for me because I had to look straight on into the camera. I had to like find a way to like lift my eyes like how she did, figure out the angle, and work with my iPhone because I'm a professional camera. <laughs> I know these type of videos usually show the process of taking the pictures, but I record and take pictures and edit all on the same device, which is this lovely iPhone 7 Plus. So unfortunately, I can't show you like how I took them and what was going on when I was taking them except for the little clips that I did get but that doesn't you know take away from the fact that they came out beautiful in my opinion everything I did for the most part was all on Pixar and maybe just like a dash of Facetune, maybe just like a sprinkle but like for, for my no 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 it's mostly Pixar okay y'all I just did my best to make it look as professional as I could with what I had and you know get it to look the way I wanted it to look with what I had. Y'all feeling me? Y'all feeling me? You feeling me? You? I tried to copy her makeup like I did with every other photo, but I didn't have any red lipstick and neither did anybody in my family. My mama didn't have none, my grandma didn't have none. So I had to improvise. So I'm about to do the next look, which is like, she had like a purpley eye, a red lip, and um, some type of red something. Um, I really do feel silly though. Cause I've never wore a red lip before and I'm gonna let y'all know a secret <laughs> this is eyeshadow eyeshadow on top of Carmex with lip gloss on top so this is the fifth I can't even look at myself with a straight face this is the fifth I got this choker that I ain't pulled out since 2017 I tied this shirt literally around my shoulders <laughs> that's a tip for anybody who wants to try some different lip colors but doesn't want to go buy them use some eyeshadow and some carmex and some lip gloss and you'll be good earrings was a challenge for me i tried to edit some on but it didn't look right so i just said skip it all together um i only have one ear pierced <laughs> i know it's like girl what I have both of my ears pierced, but I have keloid skin. So this one, it was a big keloid, like that big, and I had to get surgery to get it taken off. So it left just the ear, you know, they closed up the hole, and so I have one ear pierced. Earrings, no go for me. <laughs> I still like this picture. It wasn't my absolute favorite, but I like it because all of the pictures were different for me, but this one was really different because I don't ever take pictures straight on like this. It made me step out of my comfort zone. I 
really like. Mm. I don't really like this bitch. So it looks like she's like in a garden somewhere or something. She has like a little um bench with all her fancy dancy shoes on it. Like that's hella cute. Like it's a vibe. She had these shades on the glasses with some fishnets. And that's definitely a different outfit that I would have never put together on my own. But it looked cute on her. It looked okay on me, I guess. For a dress, the closest thing to her dress, her bright yellow dress that I had, was a bright green dress. And it was scrunchy, like hers. So that was literally, that was the best option that I had. So that's what I used. And luckily I had some fishnets still. My sister took them, so I had to call her up like sis. I dropped them fishnets off, I need them. And she's like, girl what the fuck is wrong with you? I wore some plain Jane, black heels, I got some fashion outfit for prom. Um, when I walk in them, it feels like my feet is like literally stepping on glass and finna break off into a million tiny pieces, but I had to do it for the ground. I don't own too many pairs of high heels. I'm a tall girl. I don't like being any taller than what I already am by any means ever. So I literally only own two pairs of high heels. And I know, I know, I know. I don't call yourself a woman. I lined up my two pairs. I went around the house looking for high heels. And I lined them up too. <laughs> Something to just make it look good. You know, space fillers. That's what they was. Space fillers. I went outside. Uh, it was about, the sun was getting ready to go down. And it was a storm rolling in. I thought it was just rain. Because it was like 64 degrees. But I live in Kansas City. So, those were snow clouds rolling in. <laughs> because it was like overcasty outside. The lighting wasn't hitting. So, I went through and Pixar and I edited it some things to make my skin look brighter as if the sun was hitting me not to make me look lighter but to make me look brighter you feel me i had that squat like she did this was very uncomfortable for me not because i didn't like doing it or nothing i mean it was fun i was cute to make that movie look big you know what i'm saying but cars kept rolling by honking at me whistling at me <laughs> i can't live like that i was that was uncomfortable for that because i genuinely don't like getting that type of attention y'all ain't never seen nobody taking pictures for instagram you know for the glasses oh my goodness i forgot about the glasses i had some shades <laughs> i don't know what happened to the arms on the shades but i had some shades that looked like the one she had in the picture so i was like i'm gonna eat i cut a popsicle stick in half it was either a popsicle stick or a wax stick whatever it was a wooden stick i cut it in half and hot glued it to the corners of the glasses to make little handles do not do this at home this was because i had to not because i wanted to if the wood kept snagging on my edges i barely got them they was trying to take them <sighs> nah i got the picture done and it was cute <laughs> it's a hope Chanel shirt that I seen Cardi B wearing and that's a shirt that I'll actually want to DIY in the future so I was like yeah this is it I'm doing this I gotta get that feel gotta make sure I even look good in something like that you know what I'm saying oh my goodness ah! so for pants I mean shorts I just wore some black shirts like I said before I don't have any leather shorts so I wear some regular black shorts honestly if you want to be a hundred percent honest they're leggings that I cut into shorts like a long time ago, but thank you. Um, I don't have a long sleeve white shirt. I actually don't own any type of white shirt like that. So I had to borrow some clothes from my mommy's closet. And that was the closest thing to that that she had. She had like a white blouse. And it wasn't crop top. I wasn't about to cut it because that's my mama and she was going to cut me. So what I did was I folded it um, under my bra to make it look like a crop top. And I pulled the shorts up to make it look like it was high waisted. Um, I had a little posy pose with the thighs, you know what I'm saying? I twisted my hair up and put it up in a ponytail. And yeah, that was like, that was that. I tried to pose like how she did, but at the end I was just like, okay, I'm not going to get it like how she did it. So I'm just doing my thing. 
and if it looks similar that's what's gonna work I actually didn't wear any makeup for this picture I just wore some lashes and um, I edited the blemishes on my skin away because don't we all so there we go y'all the look thank you there we go those were me recreating Chloe and Holly's pictures more so Chloe I can't believe I had the audacity to say Chloe and Holly when I just recreated Chloe's pictures so that was me recreating Chloe's pictures <laughs> if you liked don't forget to give me a thumbs up you know subscribe I'm trying to hit 1k before the year is up if you want to you know help me surpass 1k okay we not only are reaching goals we surpassing them and that's what I'm trying to do you know go ahead follow me on Instagram that underscore a newbian dot a because I'm also trying to reach 10k on there and you know that would be a dream to reach 10k before the end of the year but I'm gonna be a little realistic on that one I'm only at 3k so this was fun. I had fun recreating these pictures. Hopefully I get this video out before Halloween because that was the goal. But I'm a procrastinator. I would do it again definitely because these pictures forced me to step out of my comfort zone with taking pictures. And you know, that was something I kind of needed because I don't know. I didn't know I could take pictures like that. I already said like, comment, and subscribe. But if you didn't hear me, do it again. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. It's bigger with you. It's a hope we saw.